Dark bars and flares above me. I have a trench that's mighty deep. MREs on my table. Combat boots are on my feet. I heard somebody say once that life is not measured by the amount of breaths you take, but the moments that take your breath away. Well, I've been out of breath since I hit Afghanistan. Fort Bragg soldiers call Captain Sherry Lynn Womack the smile of Kandahar. I've got a little singer sewing machine and and I just, and I sew all their uniforms, over 2,000 uniforms, you cut their hair, even if it's just a hug, that's all they need. I'd find soldiers just crying, you know, that doesn't make them weak, that makes them human. The medical officer works at Charlie Med, the makeshift hospital for troops in Kandahar Airport. She was the only woman to accompany special operations forces outside the base to treat Afghan women and children. I've seen a whole lot, and uh, I never anticipated seeing that. I never expected putting friends in body bags. I never expected to see uh, little pink party dresses covered in blood, little kids. I never anticipated that. Soldiers say the captain who pens songs about troops in the desert. The army is the place you can easily find a friend. And makes patriotic quilts for kids is one tough and dedicated lady. You've got to know that when you leave the United States that America is worth fighting for and if need be dying for and if you're not willing to die or have somebody else die which is the thing they always say uh, if you wasn't willing you should have never got on that aircraft. Captain Womack says her job in Afghanistan is made worthwhile by the many people on these types of bases. The soldiers she calls awesome. She came here to take care of them so they could do their job. Many of the parents on this base say they came so their children don't have to face the prospect of terrorism in the future. I felt like there's not a mother in America that wouldn't want to be here for her child. I was kind of hoping if I came over here, it would spare my children. But a lot of people think that. There's a lot of parents out here. There's not just all young soldiers. There's a lot of parents out here. A lot of people announcing their anniversaries or birth of their children. I think a lot of us came over here with that thought. If we go, then maybe it'll spare our children. She's learned more than just how to treat combat injuries. When you lose everything outside of yourself, then you find out what's important. When you lose your clothing, your fancy hair, your painted nails, uh, your status symbol and things back in the United States and you put out here and you lose everything outside of yourself, you find out what you've got inside. An experience that will return to Fort Bragg with Captain Womack. I plan on taking back a lesson that I don't intend to forget. It's kind of like September the 11th, some people say, don't ever forget. I'm never going to forget this assignment, ever. You show me your love, Lord. I know you are never far. And I thank you, Lord, for my blessings in Kandahar.